Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with 5-Minute Fisherman Stew. That's right, this delicious stew only takes 5 minutes to cook. Once, of course, everything's sliced and diced and prepped, and the base to our stew is made. But the point is it still cooks very quickly, and it's one of my favorite all-time techniques if you like seafood. And if you don't like seafood, it's usually because you didn't have a lot of it growing up. But as the wise man once said, it is never too late to have a happy childhood, especially when it comes to food. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our aromatic vegetables, which for me is gonna be a whole bunch of sliced garlic, plus some fresh fennel, which hopefully when you buy it has the top attached, because we wanna use some of those beautiful fronds to garnish with later. And what we'll do to prep this is go ahead and cut those off right where they meet the bulb. And then I'm gonna cut this right down the middle, because I'm only gonna use half for this, and I'm gonna save half to shave into a salad later, which is never not a great idea. And then once that's split, we'll go ahead and cut out the core with a little triangular cut, just like if we were doing a head of cabbage. And then once that's been removed, we'll simply slice across like this into fairly thin pieces. And by the way, don't be a hero when you get towards the end. Okay, when it gets too small to slice, just get your fingers out of the way and just finish off with a little chop. And then once that's set, we'll go ahead and move on to our cooking liquid, which for me is gonna be some canned San Marzano tomatoes because I had some to use up, but you could also use fresh here. And then to that for a little heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add, no, not cayenne, some red chili flakes. All right, basically the same difference here, as well as some water, or even better, fish stock or clam juice. All right, those both would be a better choice here, but this will work with just water and still be very good. And that's it, I'm just gonna go ahead and liquefy this with my immersion blender. And other than some white wine later, that's gonna be it for our cooking liquids. And of course you can change the ratio between your water, fish stock, and tomato product. Okay, I was in the mood for something very light this time. But you could certainly make it more tomatoey if you want. And then the only other thing we're gonna have to prep is our seafood. Which for me, we're all purchased pretty much ready to use, except for this one piece of sea bass which I'm gonna go ahead and cut into what I call five minute chunks, which means a piece that will cook in about five minutes, which is how long all the other stuff's gonna to take to cook. And if you're one of these people that needs a measurement, I'd say that's about an inch and a half. And I love the sea bass in this because it's kind of endangered and I wanna enjoy it while it's still around, but cod would also work here or halibut or anything else you want. I mean, you are after all the Poseidon, a fisherman stew deciding. So you go ahead and use whatever you want or whatever looks good in the market. And then besides the fish, I'm also going to be including some peeled and deveined shrimp, as well as some calamari. Okay, mostly the tubes. But we also have a few tentacles here, so we can freak out the kids. And then last but not least, we're also going to want to do some clams and some mussels. And of course, those have been scrubbed clean. And that's it. Once we have all this fairly easy prep done, we can head to the stove and start cooking. And that'll begin by melting some butter in some olive oil over medium-high heat in some kind of fairly deep pan that has a lid. And what we'll do as soon as our butter melts and starts bubbling, is go ahead and toss in our fennel and garlic. And we're gonna saute that for a couple minutes, or until right before our garlic starts to turn golden. And during that few minutes, it's probably not a bad idea to throw in a nice big pinch of salt. Oh, and don't walk away during this step. Because we are using medium high heat, that garlic can start browning pretty quick. So just stand there stirring, and as soon as we think it's going to start to take on a little bit of color, we will quickly dump in our white wine, which of course is going to stop the sautéing process. And we'll go ahead and stir that in. And then what we'll do is cook that for about two or three minutes until it reduces by about half. And I said about, don't measure. Right, fisherman stew is not an exact science. Just let it boil for a couple minutes. At which point we can go ahead and transfer in what's basically a tomato juice. And what we'll do is give that a stir and then wait for everything to come back to a boil. And theoretically, once this mixture is boiling enthusiastically, we can, if we want, add our seafood and finish the recipe. But we should probably check for a couple things first. All right, before we add our seafood, we wanna make sure our fennel is pretty much tender. And of course, we also wanna check for seasoning. Okay, do not, under any circumstances, add your seafood to a bland stew base. So I went ahead and gave mine a taste and added another nice big pinch of salt at which point I determined it tasted just right, which means we can move into final production. So let's go ahead and add some freshly chopped Italian parsley or whatever other herb strikes your fancy, 
Some tarragon would also be beautiful here. And then we'll also toss in our fish, as well as our shrimp and calamari. And then we'll give that a quick stir to sort of even everything out. At which point we'll top everything with our shellfish. All right, I'd like to put that in last, but I'm not exactly sure why. But anyway, we will add our clams and mussels, and then quickly do two things. We'll go ahead and cover this and crank our heat to high and let it cook for five minutes or until our shells open. And besides just staring at it, the only other thing we could do is give it the old shake a shake once in a while, just to sort of move things around a little. And if everything's gone according to plan, in about five minutes our shells will open and all our other seafood will have cooked through. And other than tasting this for seasoning, we are pretty much ready to serve. Which because we've been properly trained, we will do into a hot bowl. Okay, just warm those in the oven. Oh, and also, if you're still allowed to eat it, we will also want a nice chunk of crusty bread nearby. But anyway, we'll go ahead and spoon that up with plenty of that very simple but amazing broth. And if the last muscle we put in splashes the rim, we will definitely want to clean that up. Okay, we never want to serve someone a bowl with a bunch of splashes on it. I mean, that just says I'm feeding you, but I'm not sure why. And that's it. We'll go ahead and finish this off by flicking over a few fennel fronds, which I think look very beautiful. And that's it. Our five-minute fish stew is ready to enjoy. And that, my friends, was absolutely delicious. And one huge thing to keep in mind here is that when you're doing a recipe this simple, it's only going to be as good as the seafood you used. Or if you're using fresh, sweet, beautiful seafood, this is going to be amazing. And if you don't, it's not. But I did, so it was wonderful. Oh, and one quick service tip. Make sure you have some ramekins or bowls around the table so people have somewhere to put their shrimp tails and mussel and clam shells. Otherwise, they have to leave them in the bowl, which is really annoying for them. Or put them on your table, which is really annoying for you. But anyway, that's it. What I'm calling five-minute fisherman stew. Easy, fast, simple, comforting, yet not overly filling and heavy. And this is obviously something that's super versatile, wherein we can use all kinds of different seafood and fish, not to mention herbs and vegetables and all the other stuff. But above and beyond all that stuff I just said, at the end of the day, it's just a beautiful and delicious way to eat seafood. Which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always... Enjoy.